Hello and welcome to Pavli. In this video, we are going to see how you can send a WhatsApp message to a user from Google Sheet. So in this video, we are going to set up a simple automation using which whenever you are going to enter a new user details in a Google Sheet as a new row, instantly you can send a WhatsApp message to them. Now to send these WhatsApp messages, you can use any official API partner or WhatsApp, whether it can be WhatsApp Cloud API, Varti, Interact, AISNC or any other platform. And to connect our Google Sheet with these API platforms of WhatsApp, we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Pavli Connect. So let's see how you can do it, how you can send instant WhatsApp messages directly entering the details in a Google Sheet. So here you can see on my screen, we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can basically create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. After reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. Let's say I want to name my workflow as Google Sheets to WhatsApp. You can basically give any name of your choice. Then we have to select the folder of our Pavli Connect account in which we want to create this workflow. So I'm selecting the folder as home and let's click on create. After clicking on create, here you can see a workflow is open over here. Now in this workflow, we can see two different windows, triggers and actions. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So according to our use case, according to our automation, which we are going to create, the trigger will be Google Sheet, that whenever we add a new row of data in our Google Sheet, we want this automation to be executed to get started. And our action will be sending a message on WhatsApp using Varti, Interact, WhatsApp Cloud API or any other platform. So here in our trigger step from this drop down, we are going to select the application as Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets as trigger in trigger event from this drop down, select new or updated spreadsheet row as your trigger event because we want that whenever a new row of data is added or updated in Google Sheet, we want to get that data inside Pavli Connect so that we can send a WhatsApp message on that. So here after selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Sheet with Pavli Connect. Now to make this kind of connection, what we have to do, we have to follow the instructions given below over here. So we have to add this webhook URL in our Google Sheet and to add this webhook URL, we will be following these instructions given below. So we will just copy this webhook URL from here and after copying it, we will go to the Google Sheet. Let's say this is the Google Sheet which I have created. In this Google Sheet, I'm adding the details of a new webinar registrant or new leads or new users. Now I want that whenever we add the details of the user over here, like their name, email, mobile number, on the mobile number which we have added, we want to send an instant WhatsApp message. So after creating our Google Sheet, after coming to a Google Sheet, we will just go to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, we will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search app, we have to search for Pavli Connect Webhooks. Just search for it. And here you can see Pavli Connect Webhooks. This add-on is already installed in my Google Sheets. You just have to install the same add-on into your own Google Sheets account and after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. After refreshing your Google Sheets, just go to extensions and then you can see Pavli Connect Webhooks. This add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. After clicking on Initial Setup, here you can see it is basically asking us three different things. First one is selected sheet, second one is the webhook URL and third one is the trigger column. Now here in selected sheet, we have to select the sheet from which we want to send the data of a new row. Now it is most likely possible that in your Google spreadsheet, you might have created multiple sheets. So out of all of them, from which sheet, the new data from which sheet we want to send to Pavli Connect, we have to select that. Right now in my Google spreadsheet, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. That's why by default it has selected sheet 1. Then after that it is asking us for the webhook URL. Now in this field of webhook URL, we have to paste the exact same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. After pasting the webhook URL, here it is asking us for the trigger column. 
Now you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So trigger column is basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. After entering the data in our trigger column, the data of that complete row will be sent to Pavli Connect. So we have to ensure that the trigger column is the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. Like here in the background, for example, you can see column D is going to be my trigger column because it is the last column in which any of my data exists. After column D, in any of the columns, none of my data does not exist. So I will be selecting column D as my trigger column. But according to your spreadsheet, according to your data, any column will be your trigger column. You just have to ensure that it is the last data entry column of your Google Sheets. After selecting the trigger column, just click on this send test button. Now when we click on send test, here you will see it is showing us test data sent successfully. Means the data of row 2, in the row 1 we have the headers and the data of the row 2, data of the first user which we have entered over here is now sent to Pavli Connect. So let's check it. We will go to a Pavli Connect workflow and here in this trigger step you can see just now within seconds we have received some response. In this response you can see the details of the exact same user. We have the same spreadsheet name, we have the same sheet name, we have the same mobile number, same last name for email, first name and email as well. So in this way you can see the data of our Google Sheet, the new row of data of our Google Sheet is now received inside Pavli Connect. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now after this, we'll get back to this Google Sheet. We will click on the submit button and then we just have to follow one more step. One second, we'll go to extensions, Pavli Connect Webworks and we have to select this send on event option. By selecting send on event, we want to ensure that we are telling this add on this Google Sheet that whenever the data of a new row is added, then instantly send that data to Pavli Connect. So using the webhook URL, it is going to send the data to Pavli Connect, but by selecting send on event, we are telling them, we are giving the instruction that we have to instantly send that data. And here the step one of this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our Google Sheets with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. After this, let's move to step two. In step two, what do we want? We want that whenever we add a new row of data in Google Sheet, we want to send them a WhatsApp message. So we will just scroll down in this automation workflow and come to this action step. And here in Choose App, we are going to search for Vati. So I'm using Vati to send WhatsApp messages today. But instead of Vati, you can use WhatsApp Cloud API, ESNC, Interact, or any other official API partners of WhatsApp to send the messages over here. After selecting the your WhatsApp API partner over here in Choose App, like I have selected Vati, in action event from this drop down. Select the action event as send template message. After selecting this action event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Vati account with Pavli Connect. Now to make this connection, we have to enter the API endpoint and access token of our Vati account. Now you must be thinking how you will get the API endpoint and access token of your Vati account. So to do this, to get these details, we will just go to our Vati account and from the top corner, you can see this API doc option. Just go to API docs. After coming to the API doc section, here you can see the access token and API endpoint. Just copy this API endpoint from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. After that, copy the access token as well, go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here too. And then just click on save. After entering the details, as we click on save, we will see our Vati account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the WhatsApp number. That what is the WhatsApp number of the user to whom we want to send the WhatsApp message. Now we want to send the message to the user whose details we have added in this Google Sheet. Now here the data of a new row of a new user added in our Google Sheet is received inside Pavli Connect in this trigger step. So what we are going to do? From this trigger step responses, we are going to map the response of mobile number over here in this Vati action step. So that whatever mobile number of the user, of the new user we are going to enter in our Google Sheet, the same number will be received inside trigger step in the Pavli Connect workflow. And on the same number, we are going to send the WhatsApp message. So here in the WhatsApp number field, we have to map the mobile number and the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Google Sheet of a new row being added. 
Out of all of these responses, select the response of mobile number and it will be mapped. Now the help text over here says, enter a valid WhatsApp number with country code without the plus sign. So we have to ensure that we enter the mobile number of the user with country code, but the plus sign should be missing. So here you can see we have this valid mobile number with country code and the plus sign over here is missing. After mapping the WhatsApp number, the next thing it asks us is the template. So we have selected the action event as send template message. Now to send a WhatsApp message to your users, first we have to create a template message in Vati or any other API provider of WhatsApp. And after creating the template, we have to get that template approved. And once the template is approved, we can use that template to send WhatsApp messages to our users. Now here in this drop down below template, you can see a list of all the templates which I have created in my Vati account. So out of all of these templates, the template which we want to use in this video is named as FB lead message. So we will just go to the Vati template section and after coming to the template section, here you can see FB lead ad. This is the template message which I want to send. I want to send a message as hello and after hello, I want to mention the first name of the user to whom we are sending the message. So we have entered the name of the user in our Google Sheet and we want to mention that first name in the WhatsApp message which we are sending to make this message more personalized. Then after that here you can see we have the complete template message. Thank you for your response. Our team member is soon going to connect with you and will share exciting offers with you on the given contact details. Thank you. So in this way this is the kind of WhatsApp message which I want to send. Now here after creating the template message, you will notice that I have added a variable over here, a custom field over here. And in place of this, we want to add any text of our choice. Like after hello, I want to mention the name of the person, the post name of the user to whom we are sending the message over here. Similarly, in this template, I have added only one custom field, one variable. But instead of this, you can basically add multiple variables as well. While creating a template, you can basically add as many variables as you want in your template message. So this is the particular template which we are going to use. So every lead ads, this is the template which we are going to select from this drop down. So let's search for this template and then select it over here. After selecting the template using which you want to send the WhatsApp message, next thing it asks us is the broadcast name. That the message which we are sending, the broadcast which we are sending, what name we want to give to this broadcast. So let's say I want to give this broadcast a name as for example, welcome message. So this is the broadcast name which I have given. Now instead of this, you can basically give any message, any broadcast name of your choice. After broadcast name, it is asking us for the custom parameters. Now here guys, we saw that we have added some variables, some custom parameter in our template message. Now what is the text we want to enter in place of this custom parameter? We have to enter those custom parameter text and their values over here. Like here in this custom parameter of name, we want to enter a value, a text as that is the name of the person. So we have to specify this thing in this custom params field. Now to specify this, we have a specific format which is given in the help text. And this is the format. In curly braces, we have to enter the details in this way. First, we have to enter the name of the parameter and after that, after adding a comma, we have to mention the value of the parameter. Now here in front of name, we have to enter the name of the parameter. So name of this parameter is NAME name itself. So we are going to enter that same parameter name over here. We will just copy it from here and then we will just paste it over here. So the name of this parameter is NAME name. After this, it is asking us for the value that in place of this parameter named as name, what will be the value of this parameter? So in place of name, we want to mention the name of the user, the first name of the user, which we have received from Google Sheet. So in front of value in the double quotes over here, from the Google Sheet responses, we are going to map the response of the first name over here. In this way, whatever first name we are going to enter of the user in our Google Sheet with the same name, we are going to insert the same name in this param of name over here. Then in this way, if you want, you can basically add multiple parameters. You can basically add multiple custom field, multiple variables or parameters in your template message. And you can specify the value in place of those parameters in this way in the custom params field. 
So here you can see we have name. This is the name of the value, the name of the parameter, and we have the value in front of it. After adding a comma, if you want, you can enter multiple variables. So if you have added multiple variables after adding a comma, you can add the same thing once again. You can mention the name of the parameter and you can enter or map the value of that parameter in front of it. In this way, you can basically specify the custom params as well. After specifying, after entering the value of custom parameters, just click on this save and send test request button. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that a WhatsApp message has been sent on this particular number, which we have mapped over here. Basically on the same number, which we have entered in our Google Sheets. So let's check it, whether a WhatsApp message is received on this number or not. And yes, here you can see we have received a WhatsApp message on the same number and in this WhatsApp message after hello, we have entered the first name of the user whose details we have added in our Google Sheets. This means we have successfully created this automation, this perfect method using which you can directly send the WhatsApp message to your users, to your leads from Google Sheet. All you have to do is to enter the details of the user in this Google Sheet. Now here guys, in this Google Sheet, after creating this automation in this Google Sheet, we are going to enter the details of a new user. For example, the name of the person is test user. This is the email address of this user. And this is the mobile number. Now as we enter the details of the user in this Google Sheet, we will see instantly within seconds, a WhatsApp message, the same template message will be sent to the person. And here you can see the WhatsApp message is received as well. And in this WhatsApp message, you can see after hello, we have mentioned the post name of the same user which we have entered in our Google Sheet. And we have pressed off our template message. So we have tested this automation workflow, this method of sending WhatsApp message from Google Sheet in real time, and it is working perfectly fine. Now, if you also want to use this similar public connect automation to directly send WhatsApp message from Google Sheet, you will get a link, a clone link of this exact same template automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same automation template in your own Pavli Connect account. Also, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect, where Pavli Connect offers 100 free tasks every month. So you can basically try and test this automation for absolutely free. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.